Hey, what's happening, everyone? Jay Shock Blast here, and check it out. Got an interesting string of tweets from Miller right here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. I'm gonna read each and every tweet. Uh, shout outs to Miller, who has broken a lot of news. Take this with a grain of salt if you would like to. Uh, Miller has a pretty solid track record, but uh, we'll see what happens from here. RE, the Marvel's Avengers mystery character. I haven't tweeted about this at all because I consider what I say on Twitter to be more empirical and definitive verse on stream where I can simply chat and speak off the cuff. Which is to say, this has been a tough story to crack. I do believe She-Hulk was pushed from Q4 of 2021, which as I understand, they were on track to meet in relative alignment with her eponymous Disney Plus series delay. I have my own theories as to why, but I consider this. The Marvels is currently scheduled for February 2023. The consequently, this cost consequently caused a larger than anticipated stretch of time without major new hero focused content updates. Any content filling that void would have to be created on an expedited schedule and not disrupt the still ongoing narrative. Enter the Echo character. I vaguely teased this story in an interview with Multiplayer First and didn't plan on breaking the news until I reached a 100% unshakable confidence in its veracity because I have been wrong before and it's frustrating. Example, seeing Claw's men and thinking they were watchdogs. Oops. My knee-jerk response was that the choice of character and them being so clearly an offshoot of an existing character reflects poorly on She-Hulk by feeding into a narrative that she will similar, sim similarly be a clone of Hulk, betraying the great work the team have done on her. This, and some drinks over New Year's, had me raise the subject on stream as an example of the game seemingly inviting obvious criticism, and I posted, uh, posited, <clears throat> that I prefer a different character in the slot with similar parameters, Ari brand synergy, role in gameplay, etc. Casting a wider net for additional sources after the story soft broke, for a lack of a better word, I got nothing but confirmation, Ari, the initiative overall, but different character names. Your guess is as good as mine. Ari, why that is. <clears throat> Because I haven't revealed who the character was, I comfortably narrowed speculation down to characters I'd heard. See High Ruler Lives, choose your fighter tweet. With that said, I'm confident in my initial sourcing and I've become increasingly convinced since. And he's about to reveal who he is saying is the mystery character. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. I look forward to seeing Crystal Dynamics' interpretation of Jane Foster. A strong season two for Marvel's Avengers is on the horizon, and direct synergy with Thor Love and Thunder's impending marketing campaign is a compelling kickoff. So that's uh, very interesting. Um, obviously, we have Thor Love and Thunder coming very soon. Uh, I don't actually... Let's uh, let's Google that because I don't... You would think Mr. Thor over here would know the release date of Thor Love and Thunder, but I don't off the top of my head. <clears throat> so, um, you know, it, it's certainly interesting. Um, uh, July 8th. That'd be a little early, I would think, or a little late to be getting into that. Um, so, I love Thor. Um, famously do not love Jane Foster as Thor because to me, Thor is the dude's name, no matter what, for better or worse, he, he, she just could have been something else, you know, like she possesses the power of Thor. All right. I think what they've done with her, making her a Valkyrie has been amazing and I've loved it. I have not read the recent Thor comic where it looks like she has Mjolnir again, but Essentially, to me, she's Jane Foster. With that said, Thor is easily the strongest and best character in this game, all right? My bias aside, okay, I think it's safe to say he's the easiest and strongest and most powerful character to play. 
and having Thor be the Echo character in the form of Jane Foster would actually be really good. I would actually love that. I would certainly prefer it over the other rumored character, which would have been Yelena Belova. Um, so I'm all for this, and I certainly love synergy with you know, the movie and everything like that. Um, so I don't know, you know, like I trust Miller. Miller's an awesome dude. I think he's had some really amazing information in the past, which is why I'm sharing this now. Um, so will it be Jane Foster? I mean, you know, is this even a thing? The mystery character that looms over our heads. I guess we're going to have to wait and see, uh, but it does look like the mystery character that Miller has been talking about is not Yelena Belova. It is Jane Foster, the imposter, not really Thor, but a great Valkyrie. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, and uh, honestly, I, I would have taken Yelena, but the fact that it could potentially be a Thor clone, quotation fingers, even better. So uh, something to ponder. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you.